Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I'm back inside the house this week and trying to get back on track with my cleaning routines and making the bed every morning is a non-negotiable and this daily task is as automatic as brushing my teeth, <laughs> but it takes less time to do and it's something that always makes me smile, especially at the end of a long day. But it helps to start the day with a tidy house and keeping the house tidy is a never ending task, <laughs> but it only takes a few seconds to tidy the house throughout the day and all those seconds can add up because it takes twice as long to clean a messy house. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. We had guests stay with us a few weeks ago and I did a quick cleanup after they left and this room is part of this week's zone cleaning so I need to put away the air mattress but I need to remove the batteries before I put it away and I'm not sure when we'll use the mattress but I don't want the batteries to corrode while we have it stored in the closet. Take me to the only place I know Listen to the people that I found there If you ever see her let me know How long, how long, how long we bought this air mattress to use for camping, but it's been years since we've gone camping and we're not likely to go anytime soon. But it does come in handy for extra sleeping arrangements and it's not ideal, but we haven't found a bed for this room yet, so it's still useful. And to save space, I like to fold it up to fit back into the original box. Of course, every bed needs pillows, but pillows can take up a lot of space, so using vacuum storage bags is a great way to store the pillows when they're not in use and it saves space, and it also protects them from dust and moisture that can cause odors. Now that everything's put away, I need to clean up in this room and I'm just going to use a damp microfiber cloth to clean away the dust and then I'll use a dry microfiber cloth to remove the excess water spots from the glass surfaces and trying to come up with a cleaning schedule that worked for me took a lot of trial and error. <laughs> if I wait too long, the house gets too dirty and it's harder to clean. So I ended up splitting the house into eight different zones or sections and I start upstairs and I work my way down cleaning room by room. I spend four weeks on the upper level and four weeks on the lower level cleaning things that don't need to be cleaned every week and I start with the primary bedroom and move on to the spare bedroom hallways and bathrooms. <laughs> I 
I recently added this shelf to make this space more functional and I'll be sure to add a link to that video in the description box in case you missed it. But I recently found these book boxes at Hobby Lobby and the labels are gone now. <laughs> but while I was editing this video, I noticed that I forgot to remove the labels and it usually takes me a day or two to decide whether or not I want to keep something <laughs> and it takes even longer to remove the labels. This folding table has seen better days. I've been using it as a desk to edit videos until I can come up with a better solution for this room. But for now, it's easy to fold up and put away to make room for guests. Because I only clean one zone or area of the house every week, I can spend less time cleaning and I try to limit the time that I spend on maintenance cleaning to one hour a week. And I don't always get everything done, but it's enough to keep the house looking presentable. And a regular light cleaning makes it easier and faster to keep the house clean. And this room doesn't take very long to clean, so I'll start on the hallway this week and I'll take care of a few other tasks that don't need to be done every week. Hey. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of. I include lampshades with zone cleaning, but I like to take them outside to remove the dust and the lint on the shades, and it doesn't take long to do, so I'll clean them all at the same time today. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the country sounded so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life away It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in. Hey, darling, 
and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in Anytime I have the vacuum in my hand, I vacuum everything, whether it needs it or not. And I have a cleaning schedule for weekly tasks like vacuuming, but I don't always clean the same thing on the same day every week. I like to have a flexible schedule so that I can switch things around if I need to. And because we're home making a mess on the weekends, <laughs> I like to vacuum the house earlier in the week. And then I usually have to vacuum again on the weekend. If you're new here, my name is Randy and I live in Southern California with my husband and our two fur babies, Ace and Callie. And I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation. And I post new videos every Friday. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. the area rugs with the weekly vacuuming but I have a robot vacuum that sweeps up the downstairs every day and for the rest of the floors I use a wet vac and it saves a ton of time because I don't have to vacuum before I mop and we have travertine floors and travertine is a soft and porous stone so I have to make sure that I use cleaners that are safe for natural stone and I can add the cleaning solution directly to the water tank but I like to rinse the floors with clean water so that there's no soap residue left behind so in 
Instead, I spray the stone cleaner directly onto the floor and the machine can scrub the floor and remove the soap. I don't have a problem with allergies, so I like to use the leaf blower to clean up the lampshades, but a vacuum with an upholstery attachment is a good alternative.
Getting out the leaf blower is a lot like getting out the vacuum. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to plug in the cord and wrap it up again, but it is a huge time saver, so when I get it out, I use it for everything. And since I have the blower out, I'll clean up the patio so that we can spend some time outside when it cools down this afternoon. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden If I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say That I love you Ooh, ooh You Ooh, ooh Such a When it comes to house cleaning, there are just some battles that can't be won, and I just have to settle for good enough. And the dogs go in and out this back door, so it's constantly covered in little nose prints, and it won't stay clean for more than five minutes if I'm lucky. And I clean this back door once a week, but I don't bother trying to get the glass spotless. I just try to keep the glass clean enough that we can actually see through it. And 
that's all for today. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Awesome.